Great. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to another session of, of the John Lavenia Success Mastermind. My name is Ivier Barnabas, and I'm pleased to be with you here today. Cutting it really fine today, thanks to the time change, but yay, made it. Um, so what was coming up for me? Um, we, well, book study last night, we finished The um, uh, Richest Man in Babylon, and something that occurred to me, and, and this is where I got today's topic from, yeah, believe it or not, it kind of like came to me in the wee hours of this morning, was having the right people on our side to help us achieve our goals. Because we've spoken about, you know, this is 2021, people that are not going to serve us, are we prepared to let go of them, right? We've repeated that, we've reinforced that. So I think we all pretty much understand that there are some people that we're going to say child to, right? We're not going to carry them through 2021. But what I want to focus on today is who are those people that we want to, you know, carry along with us in 2021. And, you know, the way I thought of this was if you go onto any website and if you get stuck or you don't know where to navigate to, you don't know where what you're looking for is, there is that help button right at the top. Or if you scroll all the way down, <laughs> excuse me, <laughs> excuse me, <laughs> excuse me, <laughs> excuse me, another one. Excuse me. Bless you, bless you. I never just sneeze once. So yeah, that's one of my weird things. Um, so never say bless you until I'm done. Otherwise you'd be saying bless you forever, right? So back to where I was, if you go onto a website and you get stuck, you don't know what button to press, you don't know where what you're looking for is, there is that lovely button that's usually at the top. And it's usually after my account or after login or next to login or next to contact us. And it's a help button, right? And when you click on that help button, you can get a lifetime chat, you can get useful numbers, you can get frequently asked questions. So if websites, right, inanimate objects can think to have that help button, why don't we have our help pages? So when I think of my diary or I think of my file of facts or I think of my mobile phone, I've now, you know, there's certain people in there that are my go-to people, right? So we know life is not smooth sailing. It's kind of like, like that and like that and like that. You know, it's full of ups and downs, right? That's one definition. It's also full of bends in the roads, right? And sometimes when you're approaching that bend, you can't see ahead, right? And that's when you help, you need help navigating, right? Also, life throws us lemons. And if you are a positive person, and I want to believe we all are because of the, you know, the impact and the um, synergy from this mastermind that we can make lemonade from those lemons, right? But when you think of how do you make lemonade, if you don't know the recipe, that thing ain't gonna be lemonade. It's probably gonna be tart lemon juice at best, right? You have to have the right mix of stuff. So who do you go to for that recipe of the perfect lemonade, right? You need a knife to cut the lemon because I mean, you've got to squeeze the juice out, right? Then you need the, the lemon squeezer, right? To get all the juice out. You might use a blender, you might use a jug, you might use, you know, a spoon or a measuring cup to measure the, you know, whatever it is you want to mix to make your, your, your lemonade, right? So you have the utensils that are going to help you get to that lemonade at the end. Why don't we think of the people in our lives like this? And so I want to start with this mastermind, right? If I think of sales, oh my God, you know, my, my product is on Amazon, it's not selling, who is my go-to salesperson? Who is the guru I know who knows all things about sales, right? Who's been doing it for so long. If you wake him up, you know, middle of the night, he, he probably oozes some kind of sales technique or the other. It's the magnet himself, right? It's John Lavinia. So when I think of him, he's synonymous with sales in my head. So non-attachment, choose a vehicle, all of that kind of stuff. He'll be my go-to person. If I'm thinking, how do I want to show up in the marketplace as my brand, right? No brainer. I'm going to go to Shannon. She's the expert there. So she is the brand guru. She's going to sort me out with the right colors. She's going to critique my logo. She's going to say, well, who's your, you know, avatar? Who, who's your, who's your ideal customer avatar, right? She's going to like make you so tuned in to who, you, who your customer is. That when you show up in the marketplace, there's no confusion as to who you're talking to, right? So that's another helper that we have thanks to this mastermind. When I think of strategy, so if I'm thinking, okay, I want to change tack, I want to do this, I want to go down this road, I want to launch this, or I want to change careers, who can I bounce my strategies off? Two people come to mind. 
any time of day, if you ask me on this mastermind, who are the two people? One is Ego, two, Adrian Garner. They are just, I mean, they got that bird's eye view thing. They can tell you how it's going to unfold. So those will be my go-to people from this mastermind group, right? If I think, okay, um, you know, I'm doing this and I just, I just need to know um, who can I speak to about, um, you know, like, okay, fine. I, I'm trying to plan a trip. Um, I don't know the terrain. Um, I'm not quite sure what kind of gear I need. There are three people that come to mind. I'm going to be thinking Stuart, AKA Llama King. I'm going to be thinking Wayne Bradford because he does all these outdoor stuff, right? And then I'm going to be thinking Mark from all his tactical and blah, 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 blah sessions, right? Those are the three people that are going to come to mind for me. If I'm thinking health, oh my God, I need to lose weight. You know, I, I'm not quite right. My, my diet is way out there. What can I eat? I think there's a deficiency. I'm getting headaches, whatever. Who's my go-to person? It's Therese. I'm not even going to think twice about, oh my God, should I call my doctor or should I call my best friend? I don't have to, you know, I, I have my go-to person right here, right? And I can just send her a you know, message via messenger and just say, Therese, what would you suggest for I'm getting headaches? I know I'm drinking enough water. No, 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 no. Therese will fire off at least three solutions just like that, right? If I'm thinking, okay, I want to get into a calm state, you know, I'm a bit frazzled, I'm stressed. Oh my God, it's like everything's getting to me. There are two people that come to mind. We've got Nicola who's on here meditation queen, just the sound of her voice. And I would just be centered again, right? And if I don't want to, you know, okay, I don't want to sit still. I can't sit still. I've got to keep moving. Who else do I think of? I think of Nancy. And then I can do stretches and the whole yoga thing. So I'm not sitting still. I'm constraining myself into, a, you know, straight jacket because I know I just can't sit still. I need to keep moving. But then Nancy, Nancy will make me move in ways that still at the end of all that movement, I will feel a lot more centered, right? So these were just a few examples of this mastermind. So when we put names in our phone books, in our, in our mobiles, in our file faxes, wherever it is you store names, why don't we have a few pages at the end? So this is my notebook, right? Why don't we just have a few pages at the end where we go help, help contacts, right? Where you can have your supplier contacts, your um, marketing person, your lawyer, your accountant. I mean, you know, for most people, it's end of the, you know, operational or financial year, right? And you've got to do tax returns. You've got to do your annual statements, whatever it is, right? Now, I know I look at these every day for a day job, but please don't ask me to produce my final version that's going to go to the tax man. I'm going to get an accountant to do that. And I have the go-to number at my fingertips. I don't have to go search Oh my God, which firm am I going to use today? No, all of that stuff should be somewhere. So once you hit that bend in the road or you get stuck in that rut, you know who it is you're going to call, right? And these are people you want to carry along with you in 2021. Now let's get personal. So we kind of like spoken about business, spoken about the mastermind. You know, there's some friends that all you need to be is just next to them. They don't have to say anything. Their mere presence, you just know you've got a pillar of strength in your corner. They don't need to say anything. Sometimes I actually call one of my friends and I don't say anything. Just knowing she's on the other end of the phone, I just go, yeah, my friend's there for me. She's the one I will call in the middle of the night if I got stuck on the side of the road with a you know, flat tire, whatever, I'd be like, girlfriend, just keep me company. And she'll just be there. she will be like, okay, do you want me to play some tunes? then I'm saying, no, girlfriend, just talk, right? Whatever it is. And sometimes she might not say anything, but because I know she's on the other end of that phone, it doesn't matter if I have to wait for an hour for my car to be recovered. I know I've got someone in my corner. Who's that person for you? Have you actually made a note of them in your file of facts or in your mobile phone to say, that's my go-to person? For some of us, it's our pets, right? I mean, we know fun Fridays, we see all the cats, you know, scrolling across the screen. We see the dogs running around in the park. For some of us, it's that, right? Those dogs just give you love unconditionally. So whether you're having a good day, bad day, or anything in between, your pet's still gonna love you, right? For some of us, it's our children. You just, all you have to do is look at our children and your heart just swells. And you're like, you know what? If I did nothing else right, all's well with the world when I look at these babies, right? For some of us, it's our significant others because you're like, if I had to do life all over again, 
there's no way I'll be going down this road without you in my corner, right? So who are those people for you? Let's take time out, give ourselves permission to actually sit down and write who our helpers are. Now, they could be helpers, a destiny helpers. So wherever it is you want to be, your five-year plan, these are probably people that are going to feature in your life for five years. Some of these people might only feature in your life for six months, right? But whatever it is, let's write down that list, right? For some people, they're going to be financial help. They're just going to say, you know what? I'm so in tune with your business idea. Can I be a silent partner? Can I just, you know, give you, just, just write a check and, and get you started, right? For some people, that, that's, that's what they're going to be. They're not going to run the business with you. They don't want to know the ins and outs. They don't want to do, know the day-to-day. -day. They just want to fund and get you going. Some people, you will have helpers like that, right? For some people, it's our spiritual helpers where when we just know we can't see because we're so close to the issue, we just want somebody else's opinion. And that's if you're spiritual, whether it's your faith, you know, whatever it is, you have that go-to person. So it could be a priest, it could be an imam, it could be a father, whoever it is, right? For some of us, we probably have somebody like that, where we can just simply, you know, send an email or, you know, call, send a text to say, you know what, I'm really struggling with this. I don't know what direction to take. Can you give me some advice? And you know that whatever they say to you will be just what you need to hear at that time. Help us. Why don't we, in the chat, anybody, and, and I want to see the first three people that can come up with songs that actually talk about help. And I'm going to start. There's a song called Help by the Beatles. I'm sure we all know that one, right? Let's see how many other songs we can come up with that talk about help, and let's get this chat going, right? So that's what was coming up for me today. Like, you know, we talk about people we want to let go of in 2021 that are not going to get us to December 31st. They're not going to help us achieve all the things we have for 2021. And even your five-year plan, there's some people that are not going to help you get there. We've spoken about letting go of those people. But today, how about talking about the people that are actually going to help us get there? Because if you have a plan and you're working that plan, but the people you have in your corner are not going to support that plan, well, people, i got news for you. That plan ain't going nowhere. It's going to fall flat. It's going to fail before you even had liftoff because you need the right people that are going to buy into that plan, that are going to support you and say, you know what, I can see where you're wanting to go. What can I do to help you get there? And it's really important because for a lot of us, our businesses are at infancy um, stage, right, where the next 18 to 24 months is crunch time. And if we don't have the right support, those businesses don't even have a fighting chance to survive. So it's really important that we have the right people in our corner that are gonna help us achieve the objectives we've set. So we can do all of this. And if we don't have the right help, the right support, everything we've done can be sabotaged just by having the wrong people in our corner. So it's good that you're gonna let some people go, but how about the people you're gonna hold so close to you that you know. So in fact, you welcome the bends in the road because then you know, you know, okay, I've got to go to spec, uh, spec savers to get my eyesight checked because I can't see through the trees, right? But I know somebody who can. And I can call this friend of mine and she will tell me like that because she will see it clear as day. Who's that for you? So give yourself permission to take time out and start writing the list of those helpers, whether it's from a health perspective, whether it's financial, whether it's spiritual, whatever it is, whether it's your pet, and add those people to your gratitude list. Because you know what? Not everybody has helpers. See how many you can identify. That's another thing, right? If you can identify more than five that will be there for you through thick and thin, you're rich. You're very rich. And, and, and be grateful for them, that you are blessed enough to have people like this in your corner batting for you regardless of what life brings i mean can you imagine after you've made that lemonade and you sit down and you're having a toast right with that friend after you've made the lemonade it's so much nicer when you're sharing that cold glass of lemonade freshly made lemonade with somebody you love and trust and care for as opposed to trying to figure out the recipe on your own and when i say lemonade it's a euphemism for whatever challenge life throws at you 
squeezing the essence, squeezing the best out of that bad situation, right? So life throws you a curveball and you go, you know what? I am so going to turn this around. It's going to end up being positive, right? So I'm using lemonade as a, okay, fine, you know, it's a drink, but you could get lemonade out of whatever, right? So you might be going through a tough time right now, but who's going through that valley with you? So that when you come out of come out the other side and you say, you know what? Because I went through that, these are the things I've pulled out. And you can actually share with that person and celebrate with that person. Who are those people for you? Because it's really important. If we don't have those people, everything we're doing here, good as it may seem, we will not get the most of everything that we're pouring into ourselves through this platform. So that's what was coming up for me strongly. I just thought to myself, you know, after reading that book, I was thinking, boy, oh boy, you know, no man's an island. I mean, let's face it. We put our products on Amazon. If you don't have customers, shoppers, clients buying that stuff, it's not going anywhere, right? Because you need to make money somehow. You can't buy all your products yourself. Doesn't make sense. You put it in the marketplace, you know, for the first time, in the, in the first instance for a reason. So you could earn revenue on that. So you can't do it on your own. You need help, right? Whether it's someone who's gonna pay, who you're gonna to pay to get that help, or somebody who's gonna do it for free just because, you still need somebody else outside of yourself to make that happen. So let's give ourselves permission to actually think, you know, about who, you know, and if you want to write, you know, if you have other suggestions of people on this chat um, who've been instrumental, I mean, I'm thinking of Madam Chop Chop, I'm thinking of Neil, I'm thinking of Emma, through their consulting gigs now, they've helped so many of us. I mean, there's no way I'd have done PPC on my, I mean, I mean, I, the first session on PPC, the, the shutters came down, I was like, you got to be kidding me, really? I've got to do this as well? I mean, I was just like, I'm done, right? And then arbitrage, replans, Madam Chop Chop, she crushed it like that. Now she's helping so many of us saying, guys, there's no way branded products is the only way to go on this thing. You got to diversify. And she's broken it down to bite-sized chunks, right? Where you just know. And now when you go out there, it doesn't seem so daunting. And then I think of Emma, she did the whole ceramics thing. I never knew the proper porcelain. If you hold it up to the light, you should be able to see, it should be translucent. Who walks around with facts like that? Emma does. And she's just been a wealth of information. She's done the whole, was it eBay thing she did the other day, the cheat sheet for eBay? I mean, this woman's incredible, right? So she's already even telling us about other platforms that we can be, you know, visible on. If Amazon's like, you know, thinking they're all of that, they're other platforms, right? And she's already given us the ins and outs of other platforms where we can showcase our, our products, right? And I'm just thinking, this family, we are so rich. There's so much help available here. But have we actually sat down to write out the help we have available to us? Because not many people can say they have this kind of help. And I'll be grateful for the help that we do have I mean, when we sit down, do we understand, right, how grateful we should be, how blessed we are, how full our lives are, just because, because we have people here who are willing to help? And sometimes not because it's convenient for them, because they want to see each of us make a spectacle of ourselves. They just continually give. And I'm just saying, wow. So that kept me up. I mean, I, I must I, I was awake till maybe 5 a.m. my time. And I was just thinking, amazing, that we have so much help available to us from something that was birthed out of chaos, right? Where we were before this platform was created. I don't know what happened. I don't want to know the details. Suddenly it went poof. And John said, you know what? Oh my God, these people don't want this to end. And he birthed this. And here we all are a year on. And look at the strength in our numbers. Look at the resources we have within us. I mean, my heart was overwhelmed with gratitude as I thought about this group. Because I went round and I said, everybody on this platform has something to offer. You all make my help list for 2021. I can come to each of you for different things. You know? If I just want voice of reason, wisdom, I'm thinking Gail, I'm thinking John Apogee, 
I'm thinking, Carl, I mean, I can just like message you guys and you guys come up with stuff and I'm thinking, wow. You, you just do it effortlessly. I look at Ali, her quiet confidence, you know? If I'm thinking, oh my God, I'm rah, rah, I'm all, all you know, just the, all I need to do is look at her and I'm like, how does she do it? She's also so, it's always so cool, so calm, so collected. I'm like, uh, 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 all over the place, right? Too excited. I just can't be contained. But then I look at her and she's just like, you know, all dignified and all present and calm and collected and just, you know, being her mm, quiet, confident self. And I'm thinking, wow, how does she do it? Right? And then I think of Jimmy and I'm thinking, Jimmy, you went through surgery and you're like do doing so well. He was like, after two days, I was off the painkillers. I'm thinking, really? Whatever you're on, I want some of that. Because forget it, I'll still be on painkillers, man. I don't do pain. My threshold for pain is yay. But Jamie was like, no, 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 no. The painkillers were messing with me. And, I, and I'm thinking, okay, talk about metal, right? You're made of strong stuff. And I just look around this family and I say, oh my God, how did I get so blessed? How did I get so lucky to be part of something this powerful, this resource filled? Because when I look around, I just go, wow. I mean, Cyril knows so much about so much. There's nothing, I mean, you in the chat, he will just go off and tell you about this book and that writer. And, th and I'm thinking to myself, man, how old are you that you know all of this stuff? He can talk about any subject. And I'm thinking, really, dude? Even if you spent your entire life reading, how do you amass this kind of knowledge? And he says, and I'm thinking, how do you even know that? Right? So I'm just, I'm looking at this group and I'm saying, wow. I'm saying, wow. You are definitely helpers on my list that I'm carrying through 2021. And I can just think of so many other things. If I'm stuck, who do I call? I mean, I look at Star and she's probably not here today, but single parent, I look at Mandy, how are you guys doing it? I look at Caroline. You're raising the next generation on your own. And I'm thinking, wow, that's powerful. That's strong. If I was ever in that situation, I know I'd be where I'd be coming for tips from. You're still sane. You're still together. You're still moving forward as single parents. Jamie, you as well, 16-year-old daughter going on, mm -mm, let's not say what age. Because at that age, you think they know everything, right? They think they're grown. They've arrived. I mean, you can't tell them squat, right? But, you know, he shows up and he says, look, I still want to be, a, you know, the best dad I can be. And he still wants that relationship that she has with him to be something she can compare, you know, her lifetime relationship to where she can say, you know what, my dad set the standard. And if that young man doesn't treat me half as good as my dad, well, you know what, I'm kicking him to the curb. I mean, there's just so many helpers here. I could go on and on and on. But that was what was coming up. And I just thought, how did I get this lucky? How, do, how were my, my steps ordered so well, so well directed, so well orchestrated that I stumbled on this? Because I stumbled. Well, I wasn't planned. It was just fortuitous that I got to where I am. Because how many of us were on the former platform that are not here? So that tells me that it's the people who were meant to be here that made it to JLSM. And I'm thinking, wow, the odds, who would have thought? So I was just thinking, helpers, mate, helpers. And there's so many helpers on this platform. Not many people can count more than five. If you count more than five, you are rich. And already just in this family, I've done more than five. So you all should you know, feel really lucky, feel blessed, feel encouraged that you don't have to walk this walk alone that this journey is worth doing and you can succeed because you've got helpers all around you. I mean, I'm sure I have not spoken about some people and the help that they bring to the party, but you, I mean, let's see how many we can come up with, you know? Let's see how many we can come up with. So if any other names on the JLSM family come to you as to, you know what, this person will make my helpers list just for this, you know? Let, let, let's talk about them. Let, let's actually speak these things into being. Because you've obviously seen something about a JLSM family member, and that's why you want to write their names down. I mean, I think of Virginia. I mean, she just cracks me up every time she speaks. 
she set up the whole, you know, put up, you know, your profile thing, you know, and I'm thinking this woman just, that's it, man. Battle board, her, you know, her vision board is out there. We don't have to think twice about what, you know, one of her goals is. She wants somebody to do life with. And she ain't shy to say, it, you know, and I just admire her for that because she's saying what is resonating for her. And every time Mandy talks about the same subject, she shows up with strength in her vulnerability. And I just think, how did I get so lucky to have all of these helpers, all of these role models, all of these people that are going to walk my walk in 2021 and most likely beyond with me? How did I get so lucky? That's what was coming up for me. Because I can plan as much as I want. But if I don't have the right people in my corner to tell me I can do it, to tell me to keep going, I mean, Adrian, every conversation we have, he says at least 10 times, you can do it, Ivye. You can do it. I, I see it. He, he, he doesn't, there's no doubt in that man's being. There's no fiber of his being that doesn't see possibility. He just doesn't take no. And he'll tell you, you can do it. You know? And that's all I need to hear sometimes. And I go, you know what? If I even had one iota of doubt, if Adrian can see it, I need to open my eyes. I mean, I wear glasses, but clearly, you know, I need my eyes tested some more. Because if he can see it, girlfriend, look in the mirror. Come on. So I just, I look around this family and I am just so grateful for each and every one of you who are on my helpers list for my 2021 and beyond. And on that note, I'm just going to open it up and let, let's hear from everyone. I'm loving the chat. It's blowing up. Don't give up. Never give up the fight. You see, I said it's Cyril. He knows something about everything. I mean, come on. Never give up the fight. I mean, you know, he, he doesn't prove me wrong. There he is. I will survive. Oh, yes, Gloria Gaynor. Yes. <laughs> Nicola, you got your hand up. The floor is yours. Wow. <laughs> that was brilliant. Just such a nice reminder, I think, for us to not take for granted what we've got in this group and hats off to you for you pretty much know every single one of us inside out like strengths and weaknesses so that takes some doing um, so that yeah it was just a nice um nice to just we don't very often just pause and reflect on what we've got and you just kind of prompted probably all of us to do that and um the one thing that just jumped to the front of my mind was um uh the shannon so um shannon ceo course uh we signed there's a few of us in the uk signed up to um before christmas and there was four of us in particular and what uh, i spoke to ego as part of that and we decided that it would be great for the four of us to form a little accountability group so there's myself ego um suzanne and why is my mind gone blank ali um sorry ali no one there but yeah we formed that and it's just when, when i step back i think without that there's no way i would have progressed as far as i have after shannon's course so we're there every week we've got a session on a wednesday we encourage each other, we support each other, we all bring different kind of strengths to the party. We'll be trialing things out and we can share what we've learned, but just having that support of that group of the four of us, I think and not only that, it's kind of helped us through, we all have kind of challenges and low points and we can pick each other up every week from it. And I just know that had I have done that course and continued on my own journey with it, I just wouldn't be in as strong as a position as I am now. And I know I mentioned on a call last week, I'm hopefully about to launch my own course in the next two weeks. And just a huge thank you to the, not only Shannon for delivering the course, I know she's not on here, but for those four women who have supported me to this point as well. So just your, your talk really emphasized what this group brings and just having like-minded people where we support each other and sharing not only on this scale but in kind of smaller subgroups i'm sure there's probably a few more of those going on as well we yeah we just touch and take that for granted because you just don't you don't find that every day so yeah just really 
appreciate that. I think Suzanne and Ali are on here. So thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome, Nicola. And you know, it's, it's important, accountability partners, very, very important. And I'm so glad for you and the three other ladies, Ali, Ego and Suzanne. I mean, you guys are powerhouses. So I can just imagine the energy you create in that group. Um, but yeah, you guys are destined for greatness. I truly believe it. I mean, with four of you, that's it. None of you, I mean, you're not gonna leave anybody behind. Let's face it. You all are gonna achieve whatever it is you set out to. So I'm, I'm behind you and cheering you guys on from the sidelines and yeah, go for it. I'm so excited about your course. Um, congratulations on that. that that's, that's a big step and you know, very well done for that. Um, and thank you so much um, for everything you said. I don't see any other hands up. Have I put everyone to sleep? Or is everyone just, oh my God, where do I start? <gasps> John's <laughs> next. Hello, John. <laughs> How are you doing? Hey, oh, well, my goodness. You. I was just helping uh, Trinity and Shannon's in the other room. And we're, um, you know what? Thank you. Thank you guys for, for the love and for the acknowledgement. Um, and I know that's, that's something that um, I say often, but maybe not often enough. I, I couldn't do all this alone either. So as, I, as I'm thinking, here's, here's the corollary to everything that you were talking about in my mind, uh, Ivie, is um, can, I, can I think like who I'm attempting to serve? In other words, sometimes I get so wrapped up in, you know, my own mind thoughts, right? And here's what I think, and here's what I'm doing, and here's what I'm not doing, and what do you think, right? So certainly, I think everyone here knows that, that I have people in my life who are role models in, in this area or that, not in everything. I don't have any messiahs, you know, and, and, and we don't think we need that, um, a modern day messiah. I love that term. Um, but what we do need is, is are role models. And so, uh, and I've got them in different areas of my life. And what I think of sometimes is um, how am I showing up to the people I'm intending to serve? And am I being a role model in some area of their life? I know we had this conversation just a few days ago about uh, like with social media, how do I occur every time I show up on social media? Am I deliberate about that? Or is it happenstance, right? I'm having a, <clears throat> a, a day, I'm feeling bitchy. Let me go bitch on social media, right? <clears throat> oh, is that, is that who John Levinia is? Because I mean, now it's out there, right? Okay. And so, and so if I can get perspective, not only like what you're talking about, Ivia, with, with actual, you know, people who I'm confident in, you know, their observations of me, and we actually do communicate, but also if I can get the perspective of the ideal target audience, right? The ideal customer or client, um, then, that can guide me too. It's kind of like Napoleon Hill talked about with his imaginary council, right? He's asking Abe Lincoln and Napoleon Bonaparte and all these guys, you know, what they think. They're not there, right? They're, they're dead. But, but still, that's, that's the role model, that accurate or not, that um, perceived being, right? So, um, so thank you guys for, for uh, being a part of my, uh, my cast of... Uh, imaginary and sometimes not so imaginary, right? Here we are, <laughs> the imaginary council. Look, Solomon, who was purportedly the smartest guy of his age, right? And the richest, he had many counselors. He didn't do it alone. And when he did try and do it alone, he fell. So that's a part of the story that a lot of people don't get, right? We sit there and read Proverbs and they go, oh, how freaking lofty. Well, guess what? He didn't arrive either, right? He had some problems. So thank you, Evie. Thank you everyone for being here. I will yield the floor. Thank you, John. Coming from you, that is a lot of high praise. Thank you. Cyril, you got the floor. Hi, VA. Um, thank you for the shout out. Um, <laughs> but believe it or not, I don't know everything. And um, <laughs> I would love to know everything because uh, underneath, I'm definitely a bit of a nerd. Um, but uh, what I would say is that the stuff I do know is because is 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 because when I've been looking to um, learn learn something or basically um, move my head forward, move myself out of where I was and where I want to be. And I've been doing it since I was a teenager. So, um, uh, and combining lots of ideas from different people to, to move me out of where I wanted, from where I was to where, to where I'd prefer to be. And I've got some of the way. I haven't quite got there yet. <laughs> got a long way to go, to be honest. So, yeah, thanks again. 
<laughs> for the show. And uh, yeah, yeah, nice talk. Welcome. Absolutely <laughs> welcome. I, I just I just don't know how you do it, Cyril. That there's no subject. I mean, I watch the chat sometimes, and I know I'm just waiting for you to weigh in because some at some point you just type something, and sometimes it's like, oh my god, how does he even know all of this? And it, it's like a long post, and I'm thinking. Okay, how, where do I even start responding to Cyril on this? I mean, I don't know how he knows this, but well done, dude. I, yeah, so you may not know everything, but you know quite a bit about a lot of stuff. So yeah, well done. Well done. <laughs> Thanks again. <laughs> Welcome. I don't see any other hands up. Is anybody else thinking of any other helpers in this family that... Yay, Ali, you got the floor. Hi. Hi, everyone. I just want to echo what Nicola said and, and how valuable this has been and, and, and the accountability as well. But um, what just amazes me is that we just haven't met each other yet. <laughs> I just find it incredible how strong you can feel affection and you know love for people who you haven't even met um, and how much of a bond that we've grown over this last, these last yeah I just think it's fantastic and a lot of people here I haven't spoken to but I feel very connected to you even though I haven't spoken to you directly um just seeing you every day uh, most days and um oh, it's just it's just absolutely wonderful so thank you to everyone thank you Vivier all your wise pearls you're amazing <laughs> you're welcome Ali and I have met you because we met in Brighton where we had that day I out met you. yeah absolutely. with Neil and Star and everybody yeah <laughs> So, I mean, now, I mean, I've seen you in person and you are, oh my God, even more of a cool, calm, collected, quiet, confident person in reality than you are on camera. So when I say what I say, I kind of like think to that day in Brighton, I was like, oh, she's so tall. <laughs> that was my first day. I was like, oh my goodness, right? So yeah, yeah. So I remember that vividly. Yeah. So thank you so much for your kind words. And thank you for being here, you know, and being part of this. Um, you know, because it takes all of us being here to make it work, right? If we all, all weren't committed and we, if we all weren't present, then this will not be the treasure that it is, you know. So thank you for your contribution as well. Um, Sandy, you've got the floor. Hi, EVA and everyone. Um, EVA, that was just beautiful. Like you just spilled out all this stuff that was so right on. And this group is so very important and it's the synergy of it um, that we get from each other. Uh, none of us alone, I don't think, could do this walk uh, the way we are, but together we certainly can accomplish so much. I, I just wanna speak to the support and love Evelyn has given me. I wouldn't be um, anywhere down this road if it weren't for Evelyn Melendez, who uh, who just every day supports me and um, helps me and makes this so much easier for me. And uh, I just had to speak to her name today because uh, everybody stands out for me because I always absorb such great information from everyone. But um, there's been some real practical help from Evelyn that has um, been amazing for me. So I just wanted to say that. Thank you. You are welcome, Sandy. Well, everybody right now, I, I'm, I'm going to give Madam Chop Chop another name, right? If there was ever a mother hen on this GLSM family, Evelyn Melendez is mother hen material. She looks after, looks out for, and inquires about, I mean, if, if somebody hasn't been on the platform for a while, you can bet Madam Chop Chop has been on their case. She sent a message, she, she's sent a text, something, right? So I, I just wanna echo what Sandy has said. She is a mother hen incorporated. I mean, she, her, her, her care, her love, her attention for family members is just incredible. I don't know how she does it. With everything else she has going on, she is consistent in her remembrance of family members. It's amazing. You know, it, it really is. So thank you, Sandy, for calling Evelyn Melendez out. Madam Chop Chop, Mother Hen. Like, we just, yeah, kudos. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for all you do. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I didn't raise my hand, but thank you. <laughs> and the birthdays. 
<laughs> it's Wayne's birthday, so please go to the Facebook group and wish him a happy birthday. See what uh, I mean? She's <laughs> at it again. She can't help herself. It's in her DNA. This is who she is, people. See? So. <laughs> well, you know, you know, Ivia, your talk today is amazing. It really touched my heart. Um, every single person here in the group comes to mind. Um, I am so grateful. I, I don't think we would have gotten through 2020, honestly, without each other. I, I think that that is a huge thing, but I think acknowledgement is very important here because um, I've learned that when you acknowledge the people, um, they say babies cry for it and men die for it, right? We have to acknowledge each other. We have to give each other the thank you that we each deserve. And in this case, I can probably go one by one of the people that I can see on my screen and mention something about you guys. Because at one point or another, we have all heard from you and um, you bring so much to the table. Like Carlene, I saw your message on the chat. I would love to hear from you because you always have so much to say. But I also want to hear more from Ace. I'm calling you guys out. You know, I want to hear more from Edward. I want to hear from Robin. Robin, you and I are friends outside of this group. We were together on the AX10 and we have formed a great friendship. You know, but don't keep all that knowledge you have to yourself share it with all of us and a special thanks goes to john john lavinia if it wasn't for you that you created this platform to bring all of us together i don't know where we will all be so thank you again for providing us a place that is safe that we can come and share a little bit of our lives of what's going on and how we can support each other so Coral, I haven't heard from you in a long time either. So that's it for now. Let's see who else comes out to talk. <laughs> Thank you, Madam Chop Chop. Always spot on, drawing everybody out. Okay, so let's see whose hand will go up next because I don't, I don't see any hands up at the moment. So I, I can, we can close early if, if that's what people want, but somehow I feel there are a few people that probably have something to say. Okay, we're not going to have silence on the recording. Hey, so thank you. Yes. Hi, Hi. I had a little vaccination, so I, I popped in. And I just want to say for those of us who are out and about and can't uh, out and vote for the Canadians, um, I, I miss you guys terribly. And I wish I could contribute more. But again, all these names you guys are calling out and people who still contribute in so many ways, the Facebook page, and just moments when I can drop in like this, it's much appreciated. It, you know, since August, since I've been a regular uh, on this this particular session, I do try to get to the other sessions, especially Evelyn's, uh, you know, Stewart's former e-commerce session. And it, it just, it keeps me going. I'm trying to transition from my wonderful teaching job into something else. and. You guys have just been a huge part of that. And I really, really just want to give you my appreciation for all the, the, the contributions that everyone makes, spoken or unspoken. You know, it's, it's just it's so heartwarming to know that we have this group. And I'll just stop right there. Thank you, guys. Oh, thank you so much, Sharon. It's a joy to have you with us as well. And thank you for speaking up today. That, that meant a lot. Thank you. Um, Okay, so I don't see any other hands and I don't see any other mics open. So I'm happy for us to end on this note. But two things I'm going to say, um, you know, write a list of those songs that come to mind and know that you've got helpers and write the list of helpers, whether they're on the John Lavinia Success Mastermind or not. And three, be grateful for those helpers. Um, because I think we really, really are rich in this family, on this platform, to have the amount of help that we do have access to. Not many people are this lucky or blessed. So let's not take it for granted, um, you know, but let's remember what we have and be grateful for what we have. Um, a bit of, uh, I guess, housekeeping for later. Um, I think... Corporate curios. 
<laughs> yeah. Everybody tune yeah. into corporate curios. <laughs> you got a double comment. dose of me today. So yeah. in uh in what four hours? Yeah, because of the time change. In four hours now, whatever your calendar is. I know it's 9 p.m. UK time. Um, so that's probably 4 p.m. E- e- Eastern time. Five. Um, is when corporate curios is on. Five. And five. then five? Five. Oh, okay, five. Yeah. See? That, that tells you. Yeah. Anyway, and then um, we've got, is Wayne back this week or is he off this week? Okay, so Wayne's off this week. I'm going to jump in there and and say that uh, metaphors for success, which is a very insightful weekly broadcast that Wayne does, uh, is suspended for the week. So we will see you back here tomorrow after uh, after Ivier's Corporate Curios. So get curious because I don't know what's going to, what she's going to talk about. Do you, do you know what you're going to talk about, Ivier? Nope. I don't know. I, uh, <laughs> I'm like you, John. I never know what I'm going to talk about until I start talking. So. See, that's like we're like brother and sister. In that yes, way. we like, are. Yes, like, we like are. food. Food is an inconvenience. Sleep. Exactly. Oh my goodness, I got to sleep. Oh please. And and like, what are we going to talk about? I don't know. Whatever I feel yeah. like. Yeah. <laughs> I, I only knew what I was talking about this morning, and I just like fleshed it out this afternoon. So right. Yeah, I'm like you. I never know what I'm going to talk about until it hits me. So. <laughs> But thank you so much, everyone, for being part of this family. Thank you for being the amazing and phenomenal people that you are. Let's go out there and have the best day yet. Thank you so much, everyone. See you soon. Bye. Bye.